Hi guys, we're in my kitchen today and that's because we are going to make some pancakes. I wonder if you know why I'm going to make pancakes with you. Was it a special day last week where we did pancakes? Did you have some? Amazing. Yeah, it was. It was pancake day last Tuesday or something that is also called Shrove Tuesday. And on Shrove Tuesday, you have pancakes as a tradition, don't you? I love having lemon and sugar on my pancakes. What do you like having on yours? Amazing. So today we're going to make some pancakes and we're going to pay attention to what we do and when we do it. Because later in the week, we are going to have a go at writing instructions to make a pancake. So we are going to write out how to make a pancake for somebody else. OK, so first we need to know how to make them. So let's have a look what we've got. I've got a big bowl. I've got some flour. I've got some milk. And I've got some eggs. So first, I'm going to mix my ingredients together. So I'm going to put all of my ingredients, the flour, the milk, and the eggs. I need two eggs. One. and I'm going to mix them all together. I'm going to use this, this is called a whisk, and we're going to mix until we can't see any lumps. Okay, so at the moment, I don't know if I can show you, it's got the lumpy flour, it's got the eggs and the milk, and it's all separate still, but we are going to mix it all together so that it changes. Now you can help with this when you're grown ups, if you did this last week or if you wanted to make some yourself, you could help with the whisking because you've just got to go round and round in circles and get all the bits all mixed together and scrape the bits off the sides so that you don't end up with some of your ingredients not in your mixture. You've got to mix it really well. And it helps to get lots of air into your pancake mixture. There we go. Now, if you can see, that is all nice and smooth now, isn't it? Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to put it into our pan. This is a frying pan, okay? This is what we're going to cook our pancakes in. It's got a nice flat bottom and it's got a long handle. So I need to put it on here and we need to get it hot. Now this is something that you would always need a grown up to help with because hot things can burn us, can't they? So we need to be careful and safe. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in my frying pan. That's what this is. This is oil. And I'm going to tilt my pan to make the oil go all around. And that's going to help my pancake not to stick to my frying pan. Need to wait for it to warm up a little bit more because we want a nice hot pan when we do pancakes helps them cook nice and quickly and then we can eat them up and they're yummy. I'm just pushing that oil all around the pan again and I can smell it. I can smell that it's heating up.
while I'm waiting, I can make sure my mixture is all mixed still. Give it another mix, make sure it's not got any lumps around the edge. What did we do first? First, we mixed our ingredients. Okay, so we've done our first step. When we say first, we know it's the first thing we do. It's the number one. That's the first thing we do. So first, we mix our ingredients. I wonder if you can say that. My turn. First, we mix our ingredients. Good job. Okay, this is nice and warm now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this big spoon and this big spoon is called a ladle. You don't have to, I just find this easy to measure out how much I need. So I'm going to take my whisk out, pop that on the side and I'm going to get, I'm going to fill this to the top. There's some special words we're going to be learning about later in the week as well. Fill it to the top. Can you see? And I'm going to pour that into my frying pan. Like this. There we go. I can hear it sizzling. And I want to try and make it into a bit of a circle. It's not easy. There we go. And I'm going to let it cook. Can you see? I'm going to let it do its cooking. The heat from our hob will make it go a little bit hard and a little bit crispy. I think I might need to mix it a little bit more. Still a few lumps in my mixture. You have to mix it really, really well, don't you? First, we mix the ingredients. What have we done next then? First, we've mixed the ingredients. Next, we cook the pancake. Good job. So next we cook the pancake. I put it into the pan using my spoon and we are cooking it. So I'm just going to make sure that the edges aren't sticking now that it's starting to cook a little bit. It's no longer like a drink, like a liquid, is it? It's now going into a solid. Oh, I'm excited. can hear it sizzling. First we mix our ingredients, next we cook the pancake. We cook the pancake next. We could say next or we could say second. So first we mix the ingredients, second we cook the pancake. Second is number two. If we had a list with numbers, second would be number two. Let's have a little look, see how it's doing. Oh, it's getting there. You can hear that lovely sizzling noise. sure it's not sticking to the pan. I wonder if you know what you do next with the pancake. If you made pancakes at home last week you might know what we do next. What do you think comes next? Well done, yeah that's right we flip the pancake next. So because one side of it is nice and cooked and we know it's not sticked anymore, I can flip the pancake. So I hope I'm not going to drop it. I'm going to move my pancake down. Ready? Way! And I flipped it. Look, can you see? There we go. And now the other side is cooking. So first we mix the ingredients. Second, we cook the pancake. Third, we flip. The pancake. We flip the pancake. That's what I did. I turned it over. That's what flip means. I turned it over. Super duper. And we're just waiting for that one to cook on the other side now. 
It looks yummy. Just need to make sure it's not sticking. Can you remember what we did first? First, we mix the ingredients. Second, we cook the pancake third we flip the pancake amazing well done i wonder if you know what we need to do next hmm. when the pancake is cooked what do you do with it amazing yeah you can eat it but before i eat my pancake Want to eat it just like that or do I want some yummy things on it? We want yummy things on it don't we? I wonder what if you could tell me what your favourite thing to have on a pancake would be. What's your favourite thing to have on a pancake? I'm just going to flip it again just to make sure it's properly cooked on both sides. That went all the way over. There we go. What's your favourite thing? Mine is lemon and sugar. I wonder, I think maybe you might like chocolate spread. You might like jam. Some people have ham and cheese on pancakes. Not sweet at all, they're savoury things. So, first we mix the ingredients. Second, we cook the pancake. Third, we flip the pancake. Fourth, hmm, not eating yet, we need to put nice things on it. So, ready? Let's pop it onto our plate. There we go. And turn that off so it's nice and safe. Here's our pancake on our plate. And we are going to put some lemon and sugar on. But you could put on chocolate spread or whatever it is you like. So I'm going to put a little bit of sugar on. You can't see that. Let me do it up here little bit of sugar like that there we go and then i've got a lemon so what i'm going to do with my lemon is i'm going to cut it in half and then, can you see look the inside of the lemon i wonder if it'll adjust there you go and i'm going to squeeze it and watch all the juices come out ready There we go. Oh, that smells yummy. And then I'm going to roll it up like this. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit more lemon on the top. So fourth, we top our pancake. We top our pancake. We put our nice tasty things on top, don't we? So first, we mix the ingredients. Second, we cook the pancake. Third, we flip the pancake. Fourth, we top the pancake. What comes next? What do you think happens next? What do we use these for? Eating. Fifth or last, we could say last instead of fifth. Last, we eat the pancake, just like this. 